Right, a quick video, great cow basic video. It's, um, it's about the Nokia display, so a PCD8544 display driver uh, using the um, graphic LCD driver. Um, I have a whole series of drivers here that I'm going to be publishing, but this is the next one. I've got a pick graphics LCD, it's out of uh, Nokia 3110, and it's got 84 by 48 um, pixels. I have two modes of operation which I'm going to demonstrate. Uh, the first mode is this mode, which is pictures and um, text and graphics. You can do um, pictures, BMPs, suck so BMPM. You can um, put text on the screen into any position, any pixel position, and you can display circles, etc. The normal graphical things that you can do, as you can see. So it's going through a check character set, and it will reload the BMP now. And there we go. So it's going around in a circle. That's one mode. There's another mode. So I'm going to actually load that other mode in, um, just characters and pics. And this one only does pictures, the BMPs, and characters. And I'll show you the difference between the two. That's a picture, or BMP, and then text. It's the same code, it's just that if you're limited on RAM, you c this doesn't use the buffer. The first one uses the memory buffer, this uses direct ad addressing. So you've got, uh, you've got um, limitations on where you can actually put the um, text the text has to be on in pages and there are six pages and those pages are mapped to these horizontal lines and as you can see this the, these are different positions this is at zero um, bank zero and this is at bank five and even though I told it to go in a different um, Y position it, into a secondary bank it doesn't because it actually it maps it back because you can't do partial addressing and so what I mean by that is that if you tell it to go in uh, in a in a Y position zero it will hit that exactly if you say one it will still go in zero and they come in eight bits and so until you go to address w w on the y-axis eight it won't go to the next bank so it's in banks and essentially um, the code um, coats with both okay basically what you do is you've got for a buffer you need a 504 uh, 504-byte buffer and I've done that for the 16F with her Hughes help and for um, and 18F and AVR simply just create a buffer with 504 elements, but um, we're just working doing a workaround on the 16F because it's limited memory. And for the character mode, you just rem this lot out and uh, unrem these two lines here, which is um, basically a remapping of the character draw routine and it just tells in character mode. And the rest of the code is the same. Okay, uh, this is the standard code that we've got for drawing things out. Okay, so we've got all the standard. Um, Bit, uh, things in here in terms of uh, GLCD commands, etc., circles, etc., etc. And so we'll have a quick look back at that. Um, let's have a get rid of that. And import that number five. That's my fifth version of this. Okay, I've just compiled this up. You will get an error when you're compiling this, but it's just a memory addressing issue. Do not worry about it. And that's just imported that. I just write that out. We're going to go back to full mode, so this is using a buffer. It writes to the buffer and then writes it to the screen afterwards. So that's a, a buffer write, so you can actually position it in any, in any. you can put the text anywhere you like in the XY possessions of uh, 84 by um, 48 pixels. So that's a, a Nokia PCD 8544 display, working on the Great Cow Basic, and we'll call that a wrap.